think the, the first thing you have to remember is that the country was desperate to get rid of the Conservatives. By that time, uh, the popularity of the uh, uh, Conservatives had, had plummeted. Uh, even though Brian Mulroney wasn't, a long, wasn't there anymore, he had been replaced by Kim Campbell. There was, and it looked for you know for a bit as if maybe uh, she might restore the competitiveness of the of the Tories. That didn't happen. Uh, there were some mistakes made by them, by the by the uh, uh, Conservatives in the election. But overall, there was this: we we have to get rid of these guys. And how, how do we do that? People felt that the best way to do that, in some places, was to vote Liberal, which they did in Ontario in spades. I mean, I think the Liberals won all the all the seats in uh, in Ontario. The reformers were able to really make a big deal out of the fact that as they portrayed it, you know, the NDP and the Liberals and the Conservatives, they're all on the same side. They're the elite. They're the political elite. They're trying to sell you on this deal. It's not a good deal for Western Canada. It gives too much away to Quebec, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it was a very successful strategy. Uh, and it was the reform that party that stole our vote in the West and the, the Liberals in Ontario. and. At the time, there were no seats to lose in Quebec or, or the Maritimes. Um, and when you throw in the fact that the Ray government in Ontario was very unpopular uh, by that time, and the fact that uh, um, uh, you know there were, uh, it was a very difficult time for uh, for Audrey McLaughlin as, as, as leader to manage all those different things. It was a kind of a perfect storm.